What's up, Brew Crew? Opie here. Welcome back to my Brew City Garden. So you decided you might want to start using uh, air pruning pots, but you really don't want to fork out the money for them. They can be a little bit expensive. Well, I've got an alternative for you that's a fraction of the cost and works just as well. So hang out and I'll show you what I'm talking about and I'll even show you a great way to put them to use. So if you go to your local nursery or your big box store or look on uh, you know online websites like Amazon, you can find root pruning pots, uh, smart pots. I've seen them called several different uh, names, but essentially they're all the same. Now don't get me wrong, if you wanna buy those, uh, by all means go for it they work great they are awesome uh, but i found an alternative that is just a fraction of the price now if you go to your local big box store they've got your reusable shopping bags and that's exactly what i've got here now i picked these up at a um, a large chain uh, that i'm sure everybody knows and each one of these uh, reusable shopping bags cost me about 69 cents so i could load up on these things and you know what? They're made of the exact same material as most of your root pruning pots are. They're just a woven uh, polypropylene and they work just the same at a fraction of the price. And as you can see, the average uh, reusable shopping bag probably holds about five gallons of soil, maybe more. In fact, I think it is more. It's probably more like six or seven gallons of soil. So once you fill these things up, man they they'll grow just about anything you can put tomatoes in these you can put peppers um really a tomato or anything smaller even a small tree or a shrub would work great uh in these uh, reusable shopping bags and typically i can get uh, two to three years out of these they do break down maybe a little bit faster but for two years of service uh, for 69 cents to get the root pruning effect i mean how can you go wrong you know, if, if your bag rips or tears or just gets weathered, well, you get rid of it and you go pick up another handful of them. You know, another great thing about these is, um, you know, they're made of recycled materials. So essentially, we're keeping um, plastics out of the landfill and uh, we can put them back in our garden. And uh, once these break down and they're no longer usable, say you get a tear in them, you just throw them in your recycling and they go right back to the recycling plant and uh, perhaps they'll be made into another grow bag. Now, I know what you might be thinking. I really don't want that goofy logo on my grow bag. Well, that's a simple fix too. Um, trust me, I thought of that because I don't like it either. You just take your grow bag, pull that sucker inside out. And to notice the logo, you would have to be very close to these things. Uh, but at a distance, you would never know. And the cool thing is, is you can get these in all different colors, uh, depending on what store you get them from. Uh, some stores offer all colors across the rainbow, from greens to blacks, uh, to whatever uh, you desire. Um, I think everybody knows what color, uh, what store this belongs to. But uh, I just happen to be there, and uh, when I when I go there, I pick up a handful of these and throw them in storage. And when I need them, I've got them. At 69 cents a piece, man, you just can't go wrong. Now I'll use my root pruning grow bags um, in a myriad of ways. I just use them by themselves um, and that works great. But I've also got uh, another method that I use uh, that really helps me out, especially when I'm traveling or if I'm gone a few days at a time. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. As I've mentioned before, I really love using these little kiddie pools. They're so useful around the garden. I've got one that I use, uh, it's just dedicated to mixing up uh, my soil. Uh, I use at least one as a planter by itself. I just punched holes in the bottom of it. And uh, as you can see, I've got my onions growing in here and they work great. Uh, but another use that I have for my kiddie pools is I will put my air pruning bags inside the pool and then I can just fill up the pool with water a few inches or so and it self wicks. So it's a wicking bed and it works awesome you know a couple years ago uh, when i first tried this out i grew container corn and man that stuff took off it just did so well it was unbelievable I got a really nice harvest of container corn out of it unfortunately i let it go a little bit too long so it's kind of starchy 
But the idea, uh, it, it was just perfect. It just worked out great. So, you know, I've been using this wicking bed method ever since. You know, I can pick up a kiddie pool for $8 at the dollar store. And then I can, you know, in this small kiddie pool, I can fit five of my uh, self pruning uh, grow bags. And what do I have in this? About $7. And look how much you could plant in these things. It's incredible. I mean, what a great way to go. And when I'm traveling, I can just fill this thing up to the top. I can go. I don't have to worry about it. And when I come back, uh, all the plants that I have in here are still lush and healthy and happy. And you know what? You just can't beat that. And I mentioned that, you know, these bags last a couple years. Um, actually, I used these bags last year and they're still in really good shape. You know, if I pick it up, there's a little bit of algae growing on the outside of them, but who cares? I mean, they still work for their intended purpose. Um, as you can see, I've got a volunteer cilantro uh, going on here, so I just let it go. Um, maybe I'll let it go to seed, but I do need to plant these out uh, as soon as I decide exactly what it is I want to put in them. But regardless, um, this is a great way to grow tomatoes. Um, as I said, it was a great way to grow container corn. Just about anything you put in here is going to do great and you don't have to worry about it. Hey, thanks again for joining me today here at the Bruce City Garden. And uh, I hope I gave you some ideas uh, and on how to use a very easy to find local resource, uh, a recycled resource to help you out in your garden. Hey, give the, uh, the, the reusable shopping bag thing a try in your garden. Let me know how it works out for you. Hey, and if you've got any uh, unusual tips or tricks uh, that I might not be aware of, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. Maybe give it a try in the Bruce City Garden this year, maybe next year. But uh, I'm always looking for new ideas to uh, help expand the garden and save some money at the same time. So with all that being said, it looks like I got some planting to do. You know, the work in the garden is never done. So it's time to get back at it. And until next time, we'll see you.